today we'll be reviewing how to identify solutions of a system. And in the directions, it's asking us, tell whether the ordered pair is the solution of the given system. Now we know a solution is when the two lines intersect at a point. And they are giving us this point of negative 2, 1. And it's our job to plug in those values of x and y in this ordered pair into these two equations or these two equations linear functions. Therefore, we can find out if it is truly a function or not. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to divide um, each of these equations up into two, um, two sides. It makes it a little bit easy and organized. And I have y equals a negative 2x minus 3 and a y equals x plus 3. Now I see that my x value is negative two and my y value is positive one. So wherever I see those variables, x and y in these linear functions, I'm gonna plug in those particular numbers. So I see a y and so I'm gonna put parentheses and open it up, negative two times x, so whatever x value is was in which that is a negative 2, I'm going to plug in right here, and then I'm going to write the remainder of my problem. So the x value, we found out that it goes right by the negative 2, and my y value will be plugged in right here. So now let's go ahead and simplify. So if I bring down the 1 equals a negative 2, times negative two gives me a positive four, and then minus three. Now one equals four minus three is one. So the answer is yes, it is a function. And we know that it is, a, for this particular point, it is on this linear function when the both sides of the equation are equal to each other. So let's see if the second side is the same. So wherever I see a y, I'm gonna open up with the parentheses and the x, I'm gonna open up with the parentheses plus three. So here I go. I'm going to, for the x value, I'm gonna plug in a negative two. For the y value, I'm gonna plug in a positive one. So let's go ahead and see one equals a negative two plus three. It's the same thing of saying 3 minus 2, and we see that 3 minus 2 is 1 as well. And so this is a yes, yes. This tells us that this line and this line, the point, I should, let me put it right here, the point negative 2, 1 falls exactly where the two lines intersect therefore identifying the solution of this system is that point of intersection. All right, let's try another one and see how we do and see if it is an intersection of the, or the point of intersection. Here we go. Let's go ahead and take that out, pull our new problem in. All right, so now we have the ordered pair nine, two. And it's where you want to see if 9, 2 is the point of intersection for these two equations. And x minus 4y equals 11. And I will go ahead and write that down and separate. x minus 4y is equal to, not 11, is equal to 1. Let's see, 1. And then we have 2x minus 3y is equal to 3. We see that our x value is going to be 9, and our y value is going to be 2. So let's go ahead and replace parentheses with the variables so we can plug the 9 and the 2 into our equation. So our 9 is our x value. So I'm going to plug in the 9 right here. And the 2 is for the y value. So here we have 9. And then we have negative 4 times 2 is a negative 8. Is equal to 1? Yes. 9 minus 8 is 1. So definitely 1 equals 1. 
So the answer is yes. So let's go into the second, because before it can be um, a solution of these two, so tell where if the ordered pair is a solution, they have to be, it has to be yes on both of the equations. So here we go. Two, replace the X by parentheses. Three, replace the Y by parentheses is equal to three. So nine is going to fall right in here. And two is going to be right there. So 2 times 9 is 18. Negative 3 times 2 is a negative 6 is equal to 3. 18 minus 6 is 12. Does not equal 3. So the answer is no. It is not a solution. So what really it's showing us is that we have two lines and maybe on the graph, and maybe our its point of intersection is something else, but this point nine two could be here on the graph, and it's not where the two lines meet. It could be on the blue line as well, but it's not where the point of intersection is. All right, guys, I hope this was a quick review for you on how to identify solutions of systems. Um, please check out our channel, subscribe, like, and hit those bell notifications so you know the next time that a video is produced. Have a great day.